sick on the birds. Days I gotta work. I come out here at 5.30 in the morning. Get everybody up and going because I won't make it out here again until lunchtime. And I got the pullets some nice warm water. <laughs> You're waiting for your breakfast? I got the lights turned back on. And I gotta get in here to sweep and clean. I mean, they have dry food in. And I always keep some uh, keep some water in here. It didn't freeze last night, so this is fine. And, whoops. Okay, girls. And this is that um, oats and herbs and stuff that I just sprinkle on top. I'm going to make some more. I don't put a ton of it on there. It's just crushed up oats. A little bit like garlic powder and just some of the. Make sure I get. Okay, let me. I need two hands to get it in there. Okay. Most of y'all. The new daddy's gonna come and get half you, or a little bit more than half you, this week sometime. Whew. That's one thing about, I normally do not have birds in here um, in January, but because I was raising some of these to put in with my own flock, and then the rest of them for a friend of mine, that's the only reason I'm using this in January, and being in January, it's below freezing, we get that freeze blast, and let me tell you what, I really need to dust in here. It is dusty. I usually do it, but I don't want to dust, you know, when the birds are in here, because I don't want to knock it down and they breathe it in their lungs, even though they're kind of breathing it, but yeah, I don't want to make a bigger mess. I do come in here with a damp cloth to help, you know, knock some of it on the damp cloth. Um, I don't you don't want to use a dry one or, or whatever because that'll just fluff it all in the air. But I can't get all of it and I can't get it as good as I want to. You're missing out, Missy. Get over here. Come on. Get over here. Let me get that feeder. It needs filled up. And I'll put a little bit more in that one. That way they're good until I come out here at lunchtime. Okay, everybody's good to go. All right, let me go make my rounds. I done cleaned up after the chicks this morning in the house. You guys were next. And I think I'm gonna leave the door open because it's not gonna be below freezing tonight. I mean, today. <laughs> so, uh, I just have to keep an eye on the weather. I don't think it's gonna rain today. I think it'll rain. It's gonna rain sometime this, this week. I just forgot what it said. You just like it up there, don't you? But they should be good. If it gets too windy or wind blast or something like that, I'll just run out here. Luckily, I work from home. <laughs> All right. Everybody seems good to go. All right. They're all good, so I'm going to leave them in here. All right. I'll check on you guys at lunchtime. Okay. And now to make it over to the Adult pen. I don't have to worry about the cows this morning. It's not below freezing. I don't have to break up no ice. I just use that bungee cord there to close it. I do. I did finally, finally got one of the gates that go to these um, premier fencing. Um, but below, when it was below freezing, I didn't feel like coming out here fooling with it. And they always start before it even gets daylight. Usually I have a hen out here already, but I just come out. They got water. They got the water there. They got feed. And they got that pool of water there that catches the rain. So really all I need to do is set out some corn for them. Um, 
Did I even bring it? Oh, I forgot to bring the corn. Okay, let me go get it. Okay, so I got some corn here, and usually what I do is just put a little of it there. Down their board. And I just get the spots that... And then the rest of it... You know, I just look for bare spots like that. <laughs> and I'm going to throw some out here. And then, like I said, they also hang out over here by the kennels. So I'm going to throw some down here. And I need to get some feed over here. They're almost out, pretty much, huh? Just throw it around a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. I'm going to go grab some feed and get in here. Okay, they already started getting up, so I did go ahead and I turned the light on. There you go. Let me see your comb. Come here. Get out of here. <laughs> Come here. I used um, an antibiotic uh, pain cream on the combs last night just because it was a little grayish there, you know, from the freeze. <laughs> the girls all look good. Get out of here. Come here. Come here. Get out of here. Let me see that comb. Yeah, still needs some more. Still a little darkish on some of it, but not to the point to where it's, you know, gonna... It's, there's no swelling, no infection. I mean, it's still a little gray. It looks... Let me see the other side. Turn around. No, not that way. I got my headlight on. <laughs> Turn around the other way. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wilbur, pay attention. Let me see. Oh, okay, that side looks better. He's got one, one little itty-bitty dark spot top of one of his points. But, I mean, it does, to me, it looks a little better than it did. So, I think he, I think he'll be okay. Where's Edward? Edward's always the last to come out, ain't he? Edward, come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Okay. Well. Okay, that... Bottom of his waddles a little bit. He's a little bit more worse off than Wilbur, but I think they'll be okay. You know, there's no swelling, no infection. I know, I'm in your way of getting out, huh? You can't get out that door. I'll open it today, though. It's nice. That's in your... Get some early layers going. Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking on you. Yeah, right at the bottom of one of his waddles. Seems to have got it pretty good. Go on out if that's what you want. I'm moving. Go on. Yeah, see how it's dark? Um, okay, we just have to keep putting some more salve on you. Come on. I'm moving out of the way. <laughs> Go on out. I mean, that should, it looks like that'll heal up. Oh, I hate that. It's not too bad, though. You're starting early, boy. <laughs> You're starting early. Yeah, we'll just keep putting salve on it every night until it heals up. Who poo pooed in the food? Let me get a stick and get that out of there. We hear you. Does anybody like me? Anytime I see some poo poo, 
I just, I, I look at their poo poo. A little, a little runny like that every now and then is normal. I gotta get in here and do some pooper scooping today. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm off on Wednesday, so. <laughs> Anybody else look at their poo poo when they poo? <laughs> way we can make sure we don't have no parasites or worms or anything like that that needs to be treated no okay so yeah when I come in here I <laughs> I try to follow after him the only thing is have you noticed when it's when it's thin like that it stinks really bad yeah it does <laughs> let me check that comb out again doesn't that's not too bad, Wilbur. I think um Edward got it worse, but he was always on the outside of on the edge of the perches. You were piled in the middle of all the girls. Okay, everybody looks good. I gotta go in and get ready for work. Well, gotta finish my coffee. Everybody looks okay, I'll be out here this afternoon. Behave. I'll come out and open the back door. Actually, and see how we got this tape. So I'm going to take that down and open this door for them because it's nice out for a change. That's Georgia, though. Below freezing, and then I got my little bungee cord here that I just used to hold the door open. All right. Huh. <laughs> Going out or move. Either one. What do you want to do? You want to go out? Here, let me latch this so the door stays open today. We'll leave the door open, let it air out in there, and then I'll be in here later on to... And my table of stuff there is doing things and in my chair. You did good. You did good though. For no heat, you did good. This is dry it's really dry in it, Coop. What? What? I just feel so bad for the combs, but I've seen worse. And theirs is just kind of grayish. It's not like pure black, so it didn't get like totally frostbit. So that should pretty much heal up, give it some time. I'm just going to keep putting different salves on it and moisturizing it. Just have to come out here every night, like I've been doing. I missed a night. I think that was my mistake. All right, I'm going in. I got to finish my coffee and get ready for work. Okay, they're up. And I normally don't turn that light on every day. I don't care about the eggs. I actually give my eggs away <laughs> right now. So I just do that so I can see out there in the sink and stuff. But usually if they go ahead and start getting up, it's easier to see with the light on. Instead of headlamp. So they'll hang out in the coop a little bit and then they'll venture out. <sighs> That's what I do every morning. Not that I like it, especially below freezing. <laughs> but you do what you got to do when you got animals. <laughs> I think they're still trying to wake up. Look at them over there. And theirs is the first one I cleaned up. See how fast they can make a mess? You can barely hear them. And that's how they were last night when I turned the lights out. They all just get into there and go to sleep. Once in a while, you hear a little tiny, quiet type chirp, but not enough to keep me awake. Okay, we're we're slow this morning, aren't we? I already changed their waters out. Put a little feed in there. I'm gonna change their feeders um, pretty soon. Yeah, I think I could turn the. Heat plate off since you guys aren't underneath it. You're you're around it, so that tells me, Mom, a little warm underneath there. Cause they're in my bedroom, and this is actually the warmest room in the house. 
So I'm gonna unplug that heat plate. Okay, I unplugged the heat plate. You gotta watch your chicks. They they talk to you a lot. You just gotta listen. <laughs> I'll leave that off for a little bit and come in here and check on them. All right, now we're running around. Finally, finally getting up, huh? Look how fast they run. <laughs> they are fast when they're that little. They were playing on their basket again. They love. I told you they love that basket. That basket has been through it. Let me tell you. I don't know how many. I've, I've raised a few hundred chicks. I mean, just this one guy alone. I hatched when I was hatching. And I was only hatching like um, 18, 20, 24, whatever would hatch, you know, in a batch. And I did almost 400 chicks for them one time. Plus the other chicks I hatched, plus all the other chicks I've been ordering through the mail over the last couple of years. So, a lot of chicks. Huh. And every year I try something new, you know. It's like that playpen, trying something new. Which I'm finding out when they're this small, it's better to keep them in a smaller space because it's easier to catch them if you got to check for poo poo butts. And just easier to clean. So when they get a little bigger, they'll go in the pen. See, they like their little perch made and they get on that and they, some of them just hop right up on there. Get up there. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Let me make me some coffee. Get my computer up and going. Get ready for work. And I'll check on you in a few.